Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, I went to Disneyland with my whole side of the family and I was five months pregnant and I was thinking, you know, it's gonna be fun to be pregnant in Disneyland. It's really not that fun. Uh, you get extra tired, like I am a tired person and I got extra tired at Disneyland. Also, I am a worry person too, so even though I knew the ride was fine for me to ride on, I would always get worried that something would happen to my baby. Also, I had to wait off a lot of rides because when you're pregnant, you can only go on certain rides or it can affect the baby. But the plus side to that was my sister has a two, she's two now, but she was one and a half then and I stayed off with her and she was just so perfect. She just, we just sat there and then she would, I don't know what she would do, play a game, eat snacks, and it was fun spending time with her. Um, but all in all, I probably should have eaten more snacks, like had more snacks, drink more water. Um, so when, if you do go when you're pregnant, make sure you rest a lot, like sit down on benches a lot, bring a water bottle to drink a lot of water, or you can get free water from anywhere that has fountain drinks. And also make sure you take it easy and ask your doctor if what rides you can go on. My doctor said any rides that I can take a baby on because I was taking my baby on the ride so I could go on it. So anything with a height requirement, I couldn't go on. But my recommendation is to not go to Disneyland when you're pregnant. I mean, if you go there all the time, that's different. But if this was, is like a trip that is like a one time, you know, you, it's your first time or you haven't been in a long time, I recommend waiting till after you have your baby because you won't be able to really enjoy it much just because it's when you're pregnant, you get really hot. And like, I had my baby two days before Christmas and I had to have the fan on in my room and it gets really cold where I live. So, and in California, it's hot. We, when we went, it was probably in the 80s. So it was, it, it was just really, really hot. Um, second to last day we were there, um, the park opened at like at nine. And it was 11 o'clock and I was just so, so, so exhausted. So I went back to the hotel and slept the rest of the day. I mean, that's how exhausted I was. So I know like sometimes you plan a trip and then you end up getting pregnant. Hopefully you can rearrange it to go after the baby is born because you'll have a more enjoyable time not being pregnant. And I did see people there farther along than me, at least I think they were farther along than me, and I was just like, oh, it's just so hot. But like I said, if you go there a lot, you know, you just want to try it out. But if you don't go there a lot, I don't recommend going when you're pregnant because I feel like it would be a waste of money for you. And you probably wouldn't have much fun. I mean, maybe you would just because you can go on some stuff, which is great about Disneyland, is there are family rides. But, I mean, some of the more popular rides are for bigger kids. Also, if you do go and you're pregnant, don't go on Roger Rabbit. I know there's no heart, height or heart. <laughs> I know there's no height requirement, but it's really jerky and it hits you and uh, it hurt. Uh, it hurt so bad. I was like, I shouldn't have gone on that. So don't make that mistake and go on that. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.